Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn the program to show the use of looping constructs in C .net. Here I have already created a new project in C .net. So in this lecture we are going to write the program of looping construct. So here I am going to write a program to find the factorial of given number. And for that I am going to use all the three loops that is for loop while loop and do while loop so let's first see the program to find the factorial using for loop so for that we have to first initialize the variables that is for looping statement that is for for loop we have to declare the variable i and to find the factorial we have to declare the variable fact and whose value is equal to 1 here we have to first initialize the value of fact equal to 1 because if, if we do not initialize the value of fact equal to 1 then the value of factorial must be 0 and when we calculate the factorial then 0 multiplied by anything that is equal to 0. So when we enter any number to find the factorial the output is 0. So we have to first initialize the value of fact equal to 1. Then for the number whose factorial we have to find, for that I am going to declare the variable as n. Now enter the value of n means whose factorial we have to find out. So for that write down the statement as console dot write line and in bracket enter the number whose factorial you have to find out then double quotation complete bracket complete end with semicolon now read the value of n so write down n equal to convert dot to integer 32 in bracket console dot read line now i already told you the use of convert dot to integer 32 here we use convert dot to integer 32 because console dot read line accept the values in a string format. So uh, we want the values in number format. So first we have to convert that values into the integer. So here we use convert dot to integer 32 and then console dot read line. Now use any of the looping statement. So first I am going to use for loop. So here for in bracket initialization that is i equal to 1 because when we find the factorial for example if I want to find the factorial of 5 then I can multiply the numbers from 1 to 5 means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So we have to first initialize the value of i equal to 1 then i less than equal to n. n means the value whose factorial we have to find out. And then we can increment the number by 1. Okay, now find out the factorial. Write down the logic that is fact equal to fact multiply by i. End of for loop. Now print the value of fact that is find out the factorial that is console dot write line in bracket double quotation factorial is in curly bracket 0 double quotation complete comma fact the factorial is stored in variable fact now the last thing that is we have to read the output for that write down console dot read line okay so this is a simple program of factorial using for loop now run the program enter the number whose factorial you have to find out so here i enter number 3 and then press enter so factorial is 6 so when we have to find the factorial of 3 we have to multiply the numbers from 1 to 3 that is 1 into 2 into 3 so the factorial is 6 now enter the another number okay here i am going to enter the number as 5 now the factorial is 120. So calculate the factorial that is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So we have to multiply all the numbers between 1 to 5. 
so in this way we can calculate the factorial okay now i am going to use the second loop and that is a while loop for that i am going to delete this if you know the syntax of all the looping statement then you can easily write down any of the program using any of the looping statements okay now let's start with the while loop so first we have to initialize the value that is for example i equal to 1 then comes the condition that is while and then condition that is i less than equal to n when condition becomes true then perform the arithmetic operation that is fact equal to fact multiply by i then increment the value of i that is i plus plus and then close the while loop and after that print the statement that is factorial is and then value of fact so this is a simple logic of while loop now let's check the program okay enter the number whose factorial you have to find out let's enter 5 okay the factorial is 120 so this is a program using while loop okay so this is a simple syntax of while loop that is first we have to initialize the value then we check the condition and if condition is true then we write down the statements then we have to increment or decrement the value and then end the loop that is a while loop now let's run the same program using do while loop so for that again i am going to delete this and let's write down the logic of do while loop again we have to first initialize the value as i equal to 1 write down the statements that is fact equal to fact multiply by i and then increment or decrement the value here we have to increment the value of i so write down i plus plus and then in the statements that is a do and then write down the condition that is while i less than equal to n end with semicolon so this is a logic or the syntax of the do while loop first we have to initialize the value then print the statements and then check the condition the basic difference between while and do while is in while loop we first check the condition and then print the statements and in do while loop we first print the statements and then check the condition okay now let's run the program enter the value as 5 so here again factorial is 120